Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Thursday's Talk Time with Pastor Krista. So just a reminder before we get started with today's lesson that we are going to be doing talk times throughout the summer on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're hoping we can be back in church together in the fall, but if for some reason we can't, then we'll pick up talk times again Monday through Friday, just like we've been doing since the beginning of the quarantine. So today we're gonna to be talking about masks because we all have to wear them. And I don't mean these type of masks. I have Mario and Luigi here. Now, these masks are fun to wear because when we wear this type of mask, it means that we're doing something fun and exciting, like maybe a Halloween party or going trick or treating or playing a fun joke on a friend. But those are not the kind of masks that I'm talking about. And I'm not even really going to be talking about the kind of masks that we have to wear outside. But let me start with that, okay? So I'm gonna put my mask on. And I'm hoping you can still hear me with my mask on because with a mask on, that's something I worry about. Can the people I'm talking to hear me through the mask? It also always slips off my nose when I talk. It gets caught on my chin and it slips down. So a mask is not necessarily something that's super comfortable to wear. The other problem I have with my mask is when I drive or when I have to see a distance away, I wear glasses. If I put my glasses on to see and I breathe, guess what happens? My glasses get all fogged up. And because I have this mask on, I can't really see clearly. So let's talk a minute about what your mask does when you look at someone else. When I'm grocery shopping early on Friday mornings and I see a friend and I wave to the friend, all that friend can see is my eyes. They can't see my face. They can't see that under this mask, I'm smiling at them. Oh, because our mask, hides our emotions. So I want to do a little experiment with you. I want you to look at my face and I'm gonna make a expression with my mask on. The first expression I'm going to make is an expression of pain. So here we go, ready? Okay, the second expression I'm gonna make is an expression of joy. The third expression I'm gonna make is an expression of sadness. Now, if you could tell that I was expressing pain and joy and sadness, you could tell that because of my eyes. You could tell that because of what you saw deep inside of me through my eyes. If I take my mask off and I make an expression of pain or an expression of joy or an expression of sadness, now you can really see how I'm feeling because you can see my whole face. It's important in life that people understand how we feel and it's important in life that we don't wear a mask to hide how we feel. I don't think that's what God wants us to do. I think God wants us to see our whole faces. So even though right now these masks are very important to wear whenever you're out of your home, it's also important to know that God doesn't want us to hide how we're feeling behind anything. So a mask doesn't necessarily have to be one of these, and a mask doesn't have to necessarily be one of these. I could be wearing a mask right now and you couldn't tell. How could that be, you might say? Well, maybe I had a little argument with one of my children this morning, but I knew I had to do talk time and so I put a smiley face on, even though that's not what I'm feeling deep inside. Or maybe I worked out yesterday and I hurt my back and it's really sore right now, but I knew I had to do talk time. So I put that smiley face on and I'm sitting nice and tall and straight so you can't see that I'm in pain. Now, I didn't have an argument with my children and my back is just fine. So I'm just using that as an example. But Jesus wants us to be right in front of him and he wants us to show what is on our face. So I'm gonna tell you a little story about a woman. Jesus was on his way to heal someone 
and he was with his friend and he was walking with his friend on his way to heal somebody. And as Jesus was walking, there was a woman behind him who wanted in the worst way to ask Jesus to help her, to heal her, because she had been sick for many years. And what she did is behind Jesus, without showing Jesus her face, she reached out and touched his cloak, which is the clothing he had on. And when she did that, she was healed right away. Now Jesus turned around and he looked at the woman and he said, who just touched my clothing? And the woman said, it was I, sir. And Jesus had a really good exchange, a really good conversation with this woman because now Jesus was looking at the woman and the woman was looking at Jesus' face, not the back of Jesus. She had faith in Jesus. She wouldn't have thought if she could just touch his clothes that she could be healed if she didn't have faith. But when Jesus looked at the woman and the woman looked at Jesus, that's when it really happened. That's when that woman really knew that Jesus was who he said he was. So if we really, really want to trust in Jesus, it's important that we don't sneak up behind Jesus, that we don't wear a mask to cover things up, that we look right at Jesus. So our scripture today is going to be taken from, I believe it's the book of Matthew. Let's see, yes, it's Matthew 23, 23 to 26. And it talks about the Pharisees. Now remember, the Pharisees were the leaders in Israel, Jerusalem at the time. So this is what it says. Woe upon you, Pharisees and other religious leaders, hypocrites. I'll explain that in a minute. For you tithe down to the last mint leaf of your garden, but ignore the important things, justice and mercy and faith. Woe to you, Pharisees, hypocrites. You are careful to polish the outside of the cups, but the inside is foul with extortion and greed. First, cleanse the inside of the cup, and then the whole cup will be clean. So let's talk about that for a second. So, let me move my glasses. The Pharisees were religious leaders at the time, and the scripture writer is calling them hypocrites. A hypocrite is somebody who says something but does something else. And he said, you can do all the right things on the outside, but in your heart, if you're wearing a mask, right? And in your heart, if you don't really love the important things like justice and mercy and faith, then you're a hypocrite, then you're wearing this mask. And he says, you can take your favorite cups, but if you don't clean them out, and I chose these because they're stained inside, because we use them every day for coffee and tea. They're clean, but they're stained inside. And he said, you can look at the outside and say, wow, those are awesome cups. But if you don't make sure that they're clean inside, then they're really not good for a whole lot. You need the whole thing to be clean in order for it to be good for a whole lot. And there is a lot going on in our world right now where people have been acting like the Pharisees. People have been wearing masks. And if you watch TV and you look at what's happening, guys, the masks are coming off. And that's a good thing. We need to make sure, like my t-shirt says, that we love one another. And the best way to love one another is to only wear this mask when you're outside and you need to be safe but the mask that you might wear that doesn't let people know that you're in pain or you're full of joy or you're very sad, that mask really has to come off. Because if we're really gonna love each other the way Jesus wants us to love each other, none of those masks are necessary. So let's sing our song today. We're gonna sing, Be Careful Little Eyes What You See. I think it's a really good song for our lesson today. So here we go. Be careful, little eyes, what you see. Be careful, little eyes, what you see. The Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little eyes, what you see. Be careful, little ears, what you hear. Be careful, little ears, what you hear. The Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little ears, what you hear. And this is the important one. Be careful, little mouths, what you say. Be careful, little mouths, what you say. The Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little mouths, what you say. So go through today and don't wear your mask. If you're feeling it, express it. And that's when we'll all be able to love one another a little bit better. 
So let's do our benediction together and I will see you next week, Tuesday. Here we go. My heart loves your heart because Jesus first loved us. God bless you and we will see you on Tuesday. Bye-bye.